If you want to automate same but different designs, then this short example will show you the sort of thing that can be done with DriveWorks Solo. This example takes us through the design and specification of a truck, but DriveWorks Solo can be used in many different industries and applications. The principle is that once you've set up your automation project, you can then simply fill out some forms, create new variations quickly and easily. So here is my DriveWorks Solo trailer project with the forms sitting nicely in the SolidWorks task pane. I'll start by entering some information. But wait, what are those yellow triangles? Well, those are alerts that we put on the form to provide guidance to enter the correct information. They're linked to tasks at the bottom of the task pane. As I enter information, the tasks clear. On my next form, I can choose which assembly or model I want to base my new variation on. Clicking on the different options will change the image displayed on screen and help me make the right choices. I'll go for the flatbed. Now I need to enter a value for the length of my unit. And this brings me to the extras page. But what if the customer or salesperson changes their mind and decides that actually they didn't really want a flatbed, they actually wanted a rigid box vehicle? No problem, we can go back and choose a different model. Now DriveWorks presents us with a different screen and that is because the forms have been set up with a certain set of rules that guide us through. Because we have now chosen the rigid box vehicle, we also need to choose what kind of doors we want, rigid or a roller shutter door. DriveWorks Solo has the ability to use replacement models, so we can choose which one to use, and then we can drive this model too, and make sure that all the dimensions update accordingly. But just suppose we want to see how that will look. Well, we can preview in DriveWorks Solo and see for ourselves. The model opens and the changes are made with the new files held in a temporary state until we're happy that it is indeed the variation that we want to generate. The fidelity of the master model is retained throughout. And not only can we preview the model, but we can also preview the general arrangement drawing and a covering letter and a quote. Now let's make some changes. Let's change the extras, let's change the colour and let's go back and change the height of the vehicle and the length too and then we can hit preview again. Although these changes are quick and easy to make on screen the effect on the model is quite significant and would be time consuming to change manually. Just think about all the changes that will need to be made for the model, resulting from just one change in a dimension. For example, calculations that affect the number of panels used along the sides of my truck and how they need to be positioned relative to each other. When we hit preview again, DriveWorks Solar will update all of the files automatically. And now if we're happy with that, we can finalise the project. We have options as to what to create and also where to store the files. DriveWorks finalises the model making sure that all the file name rules are updated correctly. Once that is all done, let's open the files and see just how much DriveWorks has automated. And I'm sure you'll agree there are quite a few files. Here is the new general arrangement drawing, correctly dimensioned and the updated quote. If you have SOLIDWORKS and you would like to have a go with this sample project yourself, you can. There is a 30-day license of DriveWorks Solo available on the web and then simply download the sample project for this trailer project from the DriveWorks Solo website. It's quick and easy to install and very easy to run. And if you need any help or guidance, check out the how-to videos also on the website or have a chat with your local DriveWorks reseller. 
Thanks for listening.